Skywatch Media News for November the 20th, 2020. A small asteroid designated 2020 VT4 flew past the Earth at an extremely close distance on Friday, November 13th at 1220 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Upon an analysis of the space rock's orbit, it was first discovered by astronomers at the Atlas MLO survey in Mauna Loa, Hawaii on November the 14th one day following its close approach. Asteroid 2020 VT4's estimated size is between 16 and 36 feet. It was traveling at a speed of just over 30,000 miles per hour. Its distance was a mere 238 miles above the Earth's surface and just 4,197 miles from the Earth's center. Putting this distance into perspective, it passed at about almost the same height as the orbit of the International Space Station, although there was no imminent danger of a collision with the space station itself. As it turned out, the asteroid's closest approach took place over the South Pacific. At the same moment that the ISS was orbiting over Tierra del Fuego in southern Argentina. It's not exactly worlds apart, but far enough to avoid any collision possibilities. Asteroid 2020 VT4 becomes the closest non-impacting asteroid to date, surpassing the close distance of asteroid 2020 QG which came within 1,830 miles of the Earth on August the 16th of this year. There are now a total of six asteroids that have come within 4,000 miles of the Earth without impact since the year 2004. VT4 came so extremely close that it was virtually passing Earth's thermosphere, the atmospheric layer which is situated some 50 to 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Passing at an altitude of 238 miles, the asteroid was in the vicinity of the 50 to 70 mile height where most space objects disintegrate. If it had penetrated the Earth's atmosphere during its approach in the midday hours, it would have caused an explosive flash visible in broad daylight. Although the asteroid posed no threat to the Earth's surface, had it exploded in the atmosphere, it's likely that it could have produced a number of meteorites, which most likely would have fallen over the Pacific Ocean during its passage. Observations indicate that this was an Apollo-type asteroid that completed an orbit around the Sun every one and a half years. Because Earth's gravity perturbed the trajectory of this object, it is most likely that it will now become an Aten-type asteroid, with an orbit of about 10 months. Asteroid 2020 VT4 now becomes the 91st known asteroid to pass Earth within one lunar distance since the beginning of this year. It also becomes the sixth asteroid to pass within one lunar distance for the month of November. As you can see, the number of asteroids passing within one lunar distance has had a significant uptick this year compared to previous years. And with nearly six weeks left in the year, the number of very close flybys could increase even further. Last month, an astronomer from the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy revealed that an asteroid more than 1,200 feet in width had a chance of striking Earth in the year 2068, the current odds being 1 in 530,000. The study was announced following the detection of an acceleration on the surface of the asteroid. Prior to the recent detection, astronomers had concluded that any impact was unlikely. The asteroid, named after the ancient god of evil, darkness, and destruction, will be approaching the Earth in just nine short years, and so astronomers from the Lunar and Planetary Institute are holding a classified meeting to determine the best course of action to prepare for the passing of the asteroid in the year 2029. 
By gathering information, they hope to determine if the asteroid will strike the Earth or whether it will narrowly miss us. The Lunar and Planetary Institute has indicated that time is of the essence in gaining insight on the physical nature of the asteroid. If an asteroid the size of Apophis were to strike Earth, scientists have calculated that its impact would leave a crater more than a mile wide and 518 meters deep. Even more troubling, the impact would be the explosive equivalent of 880 million tons of TNT. An explosion of this magnitude would be 65,000 times as powerful as the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. A large meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere over the north-central United States on November the 14th, dazzling onlookers who at first glance thought that an aircraft was crashing. Onlookers swarmed to the International Meteor Society to report their sighting. Eyewitness accounts include the following statements describing the object as large and bright with no apparent flash of light. Of these particular observations, the latter statement was the most descriptive, referring to a bright object displaying a transitional spectrum of colors upon its entry into the atmosphere, appearing as though crashing to Earth. It is uncertain whether the sightings on November the 14th were associated with the Leonid meteor shower, which peaked on no November the 17th. The Leonids produce prolific meteor storms that occur about every 33 years, originating from the comet Temple Tuttle, where the meteors are located in the radius of the constellation Leo. On November the 16th, at around 3.49 a.m. local time, a spectacular bolid was spotted over southern Spain. The bolid originated from a comet fragment that penetrated the atmosphere, traveling at an incredible 227,000 kilometers per hour. The rock entered the atmosphere at an altitude of 82 miles over Andalusia, south of Spain, and exploded at an altitude of 38 miles over the south of Portugal. The event was recorded by the Southwest Europe Meteor Network and it was analyzed by the Institute of Astrophysics, located in Andalusia. On November the 18th, an enormous blazing fireball that was almost surreal burned a trail across the sky off the coast of the island of Tasmania, just south of Australia. A live stream camera aboard an Australian research vessel spotted the fireball at around 9.21 p.m. local time. The voyage manager on board the research ship said in a press release that the size and the brightness of the meteor was astounding. The ocean vessel appears to have had the best view of the burning rock as it made its dive, with chunks of rock likely to have fallen into the sea. In what is being hailed as a gift from heaven, a meteorite the size of a football smashed through the roof of the home of an Indonesian resident last August. Experts had hailed the space rock as one of the most significant meteorite finds ever known. The rock, said to be four and a half billion years old, is believed to contain elements that provide clues to the origins of life. 
The lucky resident, who is a local coffin maker, has now become an instant millionaire, having sold the prize space rock for $1.8 million to an American collector who had the rock shipped to the United States, where it is now stored in liquid nitrogen at the Center for Meteorite Studies on the campus of Arizona State University. The meteorite is classified as a CM1-2 carbonaceous chondrite, an extremely rare variety which scientists believe contains unique amino acids and other primordial elements that are necessary for the sparking of life itself. The seller, whose first name is Joshua, is planning to retire and says that he will use some of his instant wealth to build a new church in his village. As you look to the sky, know that there are many wonders in the heavens that will never cease to amaze us. Stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching. Thank you.